Hello YouTube, welcome back to Transport Fever and it's happened. Cars have begun. There are cars now on the streets. So what we need to do is we need to start making bus routes. But before we make the bus routes, like I said, we're going to be running four of these, aren't we? So let's set this line all on the St. Louis to Philly oil. And let's catch the first one when we can. Anytime now. There it is. And we're going to ride along with this. Starting there. Let's see what we get. So here is, is another ride along episode. I know you guys liked this last time uh, when I did the whole um, station to station on the Chicago to Philadelphia uh, train. Was it Chicago to Philadelphia I did? I think it was Chicago to Philadelphia I ran. I'm just thinking, let me just think. No, it wasn't actually Chicago to Philadelphia because it went through Fort Wayne. I did the um, Chicago to Buffalo, or didn't I? The 20th Century Main Line. I haven't, I don't think we've done the Chicago Philadelphia route at the moment. I think. Somebody remind me, leave it in the comments box. Um, somebody do remind me if I have done that route yet. I'm not sure if I have. Okay, the slight worry here is what platform this is about to go into. Oh, there comes the sound. I was wondering where the sound had gone. Is that, what's going on? Anyway, um... So, we're swinging around quite nicely. It's going to be a nice, slow, one-time speed one. I'm sure we'll start speeding up very, very soon. Uh, we, we have got a speed of 47 miles per hour. I just hope it goes on the right side of the track. Uh, because the other two are actually running a uh, contraflow at the moment. The, the two trains are sent out in the last episode, they're actually running Contraflow, so I'm a little bit confused. We'll take lots of pictures along the way, though, just to see what we can find. Nope, that's definitely running on the right side. Okay, fantastic. Are those people crossing in the middle? I think people are crossing in the middle of the station. Hey, there's that other one waiting still. That's waiting to get going uh, because the other because it can't run any further due to where it's where the other train is. Knowing my luck, it'll probably start running right now. There it goes, and knowing my luck, it does start running right now. But that's actually a really nice view. Look at that. The problem is these two are actually going to cross over each other. So this one's actually stopping here for the first time, even though it doesn't really have anything to pick up. There you go. As you can see, there's nothing really for it to pick up. Um, and then we're going to be running straight all the way to uh, Philadelphia, or well, Washington West anyway. So I think this one's going to have to wait for that other one to cross over onto the contraflow and then we're going to see if this one can beat it yeah so as soon as that crosses over onto the contraflow we should be we should be going there's a passenger train coming in those are going to need replacement very soon you can even see the smoke just uh, just there from another train you see it just there so those trains that have j that train that's just pulled in on the left of the screen that's going to need replacement very soon um, you can just hear it as well I'm hoping this this all works out. And let's uh, fast forward this just a little bit until this train starts moving. If it doesn't start moving within the next 15 seconds, I'm going to be a little bit concerned. Okay, look, you can see those trains in the distance. Oh, there it goes. Okay, good. I was, I was starting to just about get a little bit concerned, like something isn't absolutely perfect here but uh, here we go now someone did say that this is going to be a very scenic route so uh, here is a uh, here is your scenic route let's see how scenic it actually is passing under quite a quite a large stone bridge interesting that the sound disappears as we go under the bridge bit of a bug 
and now let's see can this train reach 47 miles an hour and catch the other train before they both get to Washington this is going to be quite interesting because that train like I said is on the contraflow so it's actually on the track to our left it's switched over onto the track to our left which is really the uh, reverse track it's the opposite direction that's the down down line or the up line whichever way you want to call it but here we go up to 25 miles per hour that part needs smoothing right there I believe I think we'll do some smoothing on that and let's see if we can get ourselves up to 47 miles per hour I heard a beep beep that means something is available we're not going to check it just yet we'll have to check that at another time 28 miles per hour 29 miles per hour and uh, if you guys are liking all this please uh, if you are subscribed to the channel do support me on patreon if you can uh, a couple of dollars a month you know it uh, allow me to in fact I think if every one of my subscribers gave me two dollars a month I would be I would be sorted for a full-time this would be a full-time job that paid a decent amount of money that I could really make a good living off but you know a couple of dollars a few dollars a month that would really really help me out and of course you do get perks on the other side as well apart from getting more videos and stuff like that you'll be getting um discord access you'll be getting a bunch of other access whatever i can possibly give giveaways for games all that kind of stuff will be available for all my patreon supporters once i reach a certain amount so you know do please consider that and if you do like the video it's really really important to be hitting the like button on this video um, I know it sounds a bit cheesy it sounds a bit stupid of, of you know what I'm really all asking for but it's kind of really really important to me as a content creator to be having that that engagement to be having that sort of uh, funding that sort of you know, engagement with the likes and having that some sort of subscribing you know if you're watching the video and you like it do subscribe to the channel that's that's important comments really important all these things get picked up by the YouTube algorithm and it's all really really important to me so I really really would appreciate that if you if you can support me on patreon first of all please do uh, you know it's it's only a couple of a couple of dollars well you can give as much as you want if you want to give me a hundred dollars a month you can give me a hundred dollars a month but re really it's I I would expect from from the average patron I really would expect no more than five dollars a month if that you know two three dollars a month maybe um, and that, that's really all I expect and uh, but if not you know oh that's a bit of an uphill climb isn't it am I going to slow down here I am slowing down I just hit 42 and I've just slowed down to 41 I never realized that that was kind of look at that 40 miles an hour um, going into the forest now but this is quite nice I really like this it is scenic you were right you never said that um, you know a couple of dollars a month is really all I'm expecting no more than five from most from most people uh, I would really appreciate that that's a bit of a bump I would yeah I would definitely definitely appreciate that if not uh, I would really appreciate the like button the subscribe and the comments that's all really really important as well so if you could please please do that uh, you know every person that watches this video if you could if every single person could hit the like button and go yep I like this video it was a good video that would be great and if every person could leave a comment saying I like the video because of or I would like to see this on such a video you know like on the on the first tour that I did you know the first um, line tour that I did I got a comment of people saying I would like to see more of the lines so that's why I'm doing this video here otherwise I wouldn't have done it so it's really really important that sort of engagement is is vital for me so please do that we're going up that nice bridge now that nice bridge so we're coming up to the Cincinnati area now I'm assuming I'm going to slow down again going up this hill Although I tried to keep it as shallow as I could so actually I've, I've lost two miles per hour going up this hill it's not bad for a huge train, for a 500 meter train. Alright, so we've got a bit of a flattening here. Now, possibly I can pick up speed here again? I'm not too sure. And this is this is beautiful. I love the way we've done this. You know, really, really thought out. There's Cincinnati just there, over to the, over to the left. 
See, I'm glad that we spent three episodes just doing this. Because it, it makes it feel like it was it was really thought out. And it was. It was really... I had to think about things. We planned things. We tried to see where things went. We tried to keep things... And like, like you can see here, along the hillside, we're not going too far off. We're not making too many embankments. Nothing like that. So, it, I like it. I do like it. And I hope you guys like it too. You can see the uphill climb coming up again. Let's see if we can pick up speed to maybe 45, 46 miles per hour. In fact, we might even pick up to a good 47 at top speed here before we have to slow down again. That other train is nowhere in sight, so, you know, I think maybe maybe we're not going to catch up to it. Although, I do think the only, it can only do 39 miles per hour, so right now, at this point in time, we should be gaining on that train. In fact, the whole time we should have been gaining on that train, because I don't think we've dipped below 38 on this, so... We should have been gaining on that train the whole time. Still, could be worse. So, full speed ahead at 47 miles per hour. I'm assuming we're going to slow down very slowly over this again. Yeah, there we go. So this is the reduction in the speed. So you've got the speed delta. It's, it's actually the deceleration of it. So I know a lot of people think that deceleration in transport fever is a bit arbitrary, but actually there is maths behind this. And I have been, uh, I have in the past done some work on the maths you know i have done some look at the maths and saying what's the deceleration values what's the acceleration values i haven't done that in a long time but there was some tests that i was doing uh, at one point you can see the mountains up ahead this is beautiful really i should have been taking pictures really should have been taking pictures but this is i like it i really do like it and where is that other train i want to catch up to it I really do. Anybody see it? Alright, here's the halfway point. We are, of course, clear. Full speed ahead. And now we're going to start going to the hills. So we're going to properly be going into the hills here. And you'll start seeing the mountains ahead. Well, you can start seeing them over both on the right and the left. You can just about start seeing those hills. There they are, past the farm. There's an iron. We can get iron ore from somewhere around here as well, which is something we've got to consider. Both, we've got wheat and iron ore coming around here. What a beautiful line. I kind of want to run passengers down this line now. But I don't know how I'd manage it. How would we get passengers down this line? Could be an interesting route. Those bird squeaks are very loud. In my ear, anyway. I think I need to lower the volume on this. I don't know where my volume volume rockers are. Oh, there they are. I haven't connected my volume rockers at the moment, so. Uh, yeah. I'll change it on the monitor, but I don't want the little on screen display showing up. Uh, I think that would be that would break the immersion. This looks like a bit of a slower corner, 45 mile per hour corner. There you go. Did I just hear brakes or um, bulky squeal there? Oh, there was a drop there. I could hear the the tires or not the tires the. Uh, actual wheels squealing. The actual bogey. Interesting, very interesting. Still I haven't got a clue where that other train is. Oh wait, do I, I see some smoke up ahead. Is that it? There it is, we're catching up to that train. We are definitely catching up to that train, I can see the smoke. There you go. Wow, it's taken us the entire route to catch up to that train. But... Let's see, can we actually get to it? Can we beat it before we, before it gets to Washington? That's the big question. This, uh, this really does look great. Really, really does. We're slowing down. 41 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour. Now we're not going to be catching. 
Do we have a downhill section to work to look at? Yes, we do. 39 miles per hour. There it is. There it is. Rounding the, rounding the mountain. Shall they come in round the mountain? When she comes. Is that, that is about a steam train, isn't it? Copyright strike. We get copyright strikes on YouTube for everything. That's really bad. Very nice. I do hope for better performance. I mean, we're getting good performance here. I've got everything cranked up to absolute maximum, but I think we've still got some lag and stuff. We need to really improve the performance here, and I'm hoping that there will be another update sometime soon to, to up the performance. I still see the smoke up ahead. We're not catching at present. Not fast enough, anyway. We are catching, just not fast enough. There it is. There's the train. Oh, that's that's really cool. It's taken us the entire length of this map to catch up to that train. And look down there. If you just look down over at the side, you could just about see the... Um, Washington. We're not going to catch it by the time we get to that Washington station. I don't think we're going to catch it because now we're going to go round and down. So it's just going into the mountain though. By going into the mountain, I mean literally going to the mountain because that hasn't... The Lord model hasn't actually built... Uh, started working. But look at that. Actually, you know what? We might just catch it. If we, can, if we can get the speed on this all the way around, we might just catch this train. Exciting times. This is the most excitement you're going to get out of transport fever, I tell you that now. 47 miles per hour catching up. Where is it? Where is it? Into another tunnel we go. Now this is where we're going to slow down. That is bogey squeal. That's awesome. I never knew it had that. I did not know it had that. Oh, look at it. There it is. It's right there. Can we catch it? Can we catch it? I don't think we can. But what a journey. What a journey. How awesome was that? That was actually really awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did, because I certainly did, especially that last bit. So, through these last couple of tunnels. And into Washington Station. And this is where we will be dropping off all the oil. You know what? I'm going to class that as we caught the train. I'm going to class that as we did catch the train. Because we basically... At that, we have pulled into the station at the same time. Oh, look at that. Boxcar and Atlantics. We have pulled into the station at the same time there. All right, let's see the actual length of this train. What did we get? 428 meters. And how long was this train? 160 meters. So we can make longer trains out of these if we really wanted to. We'll pause that right there. Because that is going to be another screenshot. How nice does that look? Oh dear. There we go. Perfect. Right, let's have a look at where the other trains are on the route. There's another train on its way. Okay, so that should just continue passing through. And then the other two trains I'm assuming are still waiting in here. I'm assuming the other two trains are still waiting in here. Uh, and now we have got oil waiting over here for people to be picking up from both of these places. And I'm assuming dropping it off here, where oil is starting to pick up. There we go. There's a train waiting right here as well, with 93 oil on board. Let me 
being said, what if I stop that train, would it? I was kind of hoping it could have more than that because we've got 24 oil waiting here, but I suppose it's not going to. It's not going to do that. Although that's another. See now, hmm. we we were supposed to make 600 meter trains, weren't we? Or was it 500 meter? Let's find out. 540. Yeah, it was supposed to be 600 meter. You know what though? It's absolutely fine. We, not every train has to be the same size. They're long enough trains as they are. 400 to 500 meter trains. Our next stop will definitely be bigger once things pick up. That's another screenshot to put in. Oil train, freight train. Uh, is that a passenger? No, it's not a passenger train. That's just some smoke. Oh well. Bring that back. Okay, so what we're going to do for the last uh, 10 minutes of this. Well, like I said, we've started getting a... Uh, cars in and around haven't we there we go so what we need to do is we're going to set up because it's very very important we're going to start setting up some uh what do you call them bus routes so here we go pa chicago uh let's call it chicago right how should we do this should we go... Should we go north? Or should we go south? I tell you what, we'll do north. I tell you, this is how we'll do it. Right. Yeah, this is how we're going to do it, right? Let's get these in there bright yellow. Actually, we'll make them... No, yes, we will make them yellow. So I'm debating things amongst myself. Shh. Don't judge. From here to here to here to here to here. And then we're going to do a turnaround. Where should we do a turnaround? Should we go here and then turn it back around? No, let's go here and turn it back around. There. Uh, there. 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 Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. So we'll, we'll set that one up. Oh look, you can you can actually uh, pick which side of the street you want now. That's brilliant. That's going to help. I didn't know you could actually pick because then we can actually have the right side of the street picked at all times. So if we wanted to, we could bring it. Yes, yeah, see, here we go, like this. This is this this is a prime example. Second street. Second street here. We want it to go there see that's clever that's really really clever I'm happy about that so that way it just eases eases congestion so it doesn't get stuck and doing all sorts of crossing crisscrossing fantastic uh, we're going to go for PA Chicago South this will be a, a slightly darker color we'll also start from Chicago sidings over this way to Walnut Street, down here, 4th Street. Uh, right, how are we going to do this one? Do that, 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 that. Can we do that and then back down to 4th Street or should we... we come back down to 4th Street and then we can take the tunnel in back to Walnut Street. Uh, let me think. So it's going round here, round here, round here. Potentially, we could bring it back to. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll do this. Let's make it a little bit more complicated, and then back to there. Right. So, you know what? That color I don't like. I'll choose that color. So what we're going to do is, yeah, we're fine over here. Let's double check everything that's going on here. Walnut Street is fine. Uh, Fourth Street, yes, good. Right here, how do we want this to go? So, you know, am I better off doing this? If it's going to be coming in that way and then turning off. And then it's going to do a turn around there, that's clever. That's very clever. I did not, I did not expect it to do a turn around in the freight station. Well done, well done, wow. 
they have done some improvements. Right, I kind of don't want it to go down this, this tiny road here. I'd rather it comes down this road. So what we're going to do is we're going to add for the first time, we're going to put a waypoint down here. And then after Spruce Street, I want it to go through this waypoint here, if I can. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Go away. No line passing here. So Spruce Street, add station there. Okay, so that's going to stop it from going down this tiny street down here and causing some sort of traffic jam. Uh, similarly, it's sort of... Hmm... I'd rather it goes up here. This is all clever. This is all very clever. I'd rather it comes up here now from... Is it Laurel Street? Yeah, from Laurel Street. I'd rather it turns off this way. Goes down this main road here. So from Laurel Street, I'd rather you go through there. There we go. And then down... No, not down there. I'd rather you go down this way. Oh, this is this is fun. Because this is this has brought a whole new dimension. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, for Highland Street, I'm just thinking, what if I brought it up this way? Brought it down here, around here for Highland Street. I mean, it's a bit long. No, actually, that's, that's a fast enough road. That's, that's definitely a fast enough road. Now, if I brought that back down... Tell you what, if it's coming back from Meadow Street... Then perhaps I should bring it back down, down here, and then up to Spruce Street. So it goes Lakeview, Meadow, back down to Lakeview. Yeah, let's do that. So it's going to go from Lakeview, Meadow, and then back down to Lakeview. There we go. And then instead of going up there, we'd rather it turns off down here. So we'll run the line. We'll put another waypoint just here. So Lakeview and then there. Perfect. Perfect. So we'll go along there and then round there and then, then we're good. Then everything is absolutely fine again. Awesome. 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 Right. Okay. And then we're going to see if we can do a bit of a, a cross town one. Maybe from there to just there and then... Actually, no, we don't really do, we don't really need that. I was kind of going to do an east and west, but maybe we'll do that at a at a later time. Also, that being said now, I'm thinking maybe we should add Spruce Street onto the north. Should we add Spruce Street onto the north one? Right, okay, so after 2nd Street, let's see if we can get Spruce Street in. Like so. Right, okay. And it's back up to Mill Street. Yeah, maybe that's possibly better. Then we can ignore Spruce Street on the south. Or we'll just have another opposite, another one that just goes through all of them, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that for now. Okay. And to end the episode off, we will find our depot, which I've lost again uh, down here. Oh, these are going to be tram lines as well. I forgot we, we're going to have trams running in all this soon. We'll do a we'll do a tram that goes all the way around, perhaps. Yeah, we'll do that. So we're going for a Mac. Uh, return of the Mac, and we're going to go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven for eleven stations. Yep, yeah, that makes sense to me. For Chicago North. And we're going to do this, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That being said, those are waypoints, so we're going to take three off. Um, yeah, how do, I, how do I sell these again? Ah, there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4. I forgot about the waypoints. No waypoints on this, so it's really going to be that. And that's going to be on Chicago South. Wonderful, awesome, superb, fantastic, and uh, play. 
here we go. Oh look, and a train passing through just at the same time. How awesome does that look? With some steel. That's loud. Super speed. Look at that. And now they start picking up some noise. Whoa, look at that. Okay, sorry, that has to... This has to be a, a screenshot. That looks so cool. I'm, I'm probably not going to use that for anything, but that looks really quite cool. There we go. And it's the number 24 leading them across the bridge with the number 59 in close company trying to catch up with the number 57 alongside it. And look, we've got two on the inside, two teammates over here. That just looks absolutely ridiculous. Can you just imagine that? Oh, what would have been perfect is if a train was coming in right now. Which there isn't. That is so, that is brilliant. And look at them all splitting off in different directions and very cool. And over here as well, they're split off in different directions. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Right, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transport Fever. Leave a comment in the comments box below. Let me know what you think of what I'm doing so far and any ideas and tips and tricks you may have. Look at that. Immediately, things have started uh, changing. Things have started building up. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun now that we've got things running very, very nicely. Let's give this a pause right now and let's have a look around at uh, what is and isn't around. Well, moment we've got 78 oil waiting. And we've got this oil train about to reach there. We've got this oil train running with uh, 93 going to Philadelphia. We've got, uh, we should have an oil train on its way back. There's an oil train, no, not on its way back, still heading. There we go, there's an oil train on its way back. Perfect, so we've got an oil train on its way back, another oil train trying to get in there. We've got this oil train starting to head off down the ways. And we've got another one that's going to wait for traffic. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Meanwhile, up here, no production of anything. Why have we got no production of anything? Uh, we'll have to work something out. We'll have to see what's going on here. But there's lots and lots happening. I think over the next few episodes, we're going to start uh, focusing on the big cities, bus lines and tram lines. So we've got the buses here. We've got to do the trams here. Buses and trams here. Buses and trams here. We'll start doing, uh, we'll get buses and trams going on here, buses and trams going on here. Possibly only buses, actually. Maybe just buses in these ones. And then we'll start doing the rest of the stuff. By that time, the oil should have really started flowing in and out. And then we'll start doing some more oil lines. Obviously, we've got that passenger section to connect up over here. We've got this, this section to go, do over here to go all the way up to Ottawa. And we've got a lot. We've still got Sudbury to connect. Uh, we've got Thunder Bay that's going to need some more passenger connections. We've got Grand Rapids, which is doing some weird stuff there. So we've got all that to do. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and support me on Patreon. I will see you guys in the next episode of Transport Fever.